today's video i'm going to show you three different looks that appear very intricate and difficult and time consuming but in reality they're super super simple and you can do it so many different ways you can literally let your creativity run wild and try it a bunch of different colors add in different textures or different patterns it's amazing When I did this first look, I didn't have the proper stencil to use, so I found a picture on Google Images and traced it onto a piece of paper, put some tape over that paper, and then I used an X-Acto knife to cut out the shape so I would have a stencil. I'm using some NYX HD Studio Primer to prime my skin, and then choose a foundation that is a little bit lighter than your skin tone so that it will stand out and make it look like these sections of your skin are raised. Just try to hold the stencil as flat as you can against your skin and you don't have to worry too much about lining it up perfectly when you move it around because once there's a bunch of pattern on there, it won't be very noticeable. So I was thinking about using this as a festival look. I know Coachella is coming up soon, like very soon, but I'm not sure it would last very long, so you definitely have to invest in a good setting spray and a really good translucent powder to set over the top of this to make it last for a very long time. I ended up trying to do something weird in my contour area with shading, but it ended up looking awful, so I wouldn't do that. But this is how it looks once it's finished, I think it looks amazing. It's like an embossed texture. It just looks really cool. For the next few looks, I was actually able to go to Hobby Lobby and buy a stencil to use. And this time, for this next look, I am going to add in some highlighter. I'm using this L'Oreal True Match Lumi and more of my foundation. And I'm going to mix those together so that my skin gets a very highlighted embossed texture so it really stands out in the light. And just do the same thing. Line up the stencil on your face, hold it as flat as you can, and pat it in with the sponge. With this look, I am wearing a blonde wig that I bought from eBay. I'll have the seller link down below. So I'm adding some concealer to my eyebrows just to make them look blonde. And then I'm taking the highlight and I'm putting that in my inner corner and under my brow and a little bit on my eyelids just to highlight in places that I want to be nice and bright like the rest of my face. And then I'm putting some on my lips and just patting that out, making sure that it's on my cupid's bow. And then I'm taking a uh, lip color lipstick and just patting that on top. And that is the finished look. I think it makes it look kind of like an icy queen or something like that. Use your imagination. The next look is my favorite. It's blue, it looks alien or even reptilian. I don't know, it's beautiful, but I'm putting on my foundation like I normally would and trying to be extra flawless with it. Then I'm using some blue Mehron face paint mixed with a little bit of gray, and then I'm using the sponge while it still has some foundation on it and a little bit extra water to make the face paints work. And I'm just patting that into the areas of my face that would be kind of contoured or would need a little bit of color. Um, I would suggest starting with a small amount of face paint 
and just keep building it. It takes a long time and it's a lot of padding, but it's so worth it because of how beautiful it comes out. So be really careful not to get a bunch of blue. If you get too much, just add more foundation onto your sponge and start over again on the same spot. For the texture, I'm using a lighter blue and a lavender to make kind of a periwinkle color and putting that on top of everywhere on my skin and I don't know how to explain it but it just it it could be scaly but it's not I don't I don't even know but it's beautiful for my lips I am just using blue face paint first and then on top of that I'm taking the covergirl Katie cat matte lipstick in color Cosmo Kitty and blending that on top so it gets a little more purple and then on top of that, I'm using this Maybelline lipstick 750 Wickedly White to almost ombre it out, but also soften it so it's a little bit lighter, like my skin tone. And then for my eyes, I'm using a dark grayish blue eyeshadow in my outer corner and crease. On the inner corner, I'm using a very pale lavender color. And then I'm using the edge of the stencil with a bright blue eyeshadow to create a wing. Then I just blend that down onto my lower lash line and use a blue L'Oreal eyeliner to line my waterline so that everything is blue and standing out. This is a Rimmel mascara, the Rimmel Lash Accelerator mascara. And then I'm putting some face paint into my eyebrows and then I'm actually going to put the lipstick on top of that because the hairs weren't standing out and I wanted them to look light. And that is the finished look. I put on another wig that I found on eBay. I will try to find the seller for this one, but I bought it a long time ago so it might not be available anymore, but I'll try to find it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm thinking about entering the NYX Face Awards, probably not with this video, but with a better one. Let me know what you think. Should I do it? I always miss it every year because I never know when it starts, but I was paying attention this time and I got it, so I think I'm going to do it. Thank you guys for watching. Give me a comment down below. I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye